Today, we are going to work on a very important skill with reading. We are going to work on check for understanding. What that means is when you're reading, sometimes you come to the end of a page and you have no idea what you read. Sometimes when you're reading, your brain might be thinking about something else. Well, if that happens, it's very important that you go back and you reread. So today, I'm going to teach you a strategy called Check for Understanding. I'm going to read you a story called Bernice Gets Carried Away. And as I read, I'm going to model the strategy Check for Understanding. It was a horrible, dreary day, and it suited Bernice's mood just fine. This is what I do for Check for Understanding. I stop and ask myself, who's in the story? So Bernice, and what's happening? It's a horrible day. Everyone else had gotten frost, a frosting rose on their piece of cake, but not Bernice. All she had gotten was a plain white square from the middle. Okay, remember, Check for Understanding, I got to the end of the page. Who's in the story? Bernice. And what's she upset about? She's upset that she didn't get a rose on her piece of cake. Everyone else had gotten ice cold strawberry melon sodas, but not Bernice. All that was left for her was prune grapefruit, and it was warm. Who's in the story? Bernice. What's happening? She's upset about her juice or soda. And of course, one of the big kids had gone and smashed the pinata to smithereens before Bernice had even taken a swing. Everyone else had gotten yummy candy and pri prizes, but not Bernice. She had found one lousy gumdrop that someone had stepped on. Ah, oh, that time when I got to the end of the page, I could tell that I wasn't really thinking about what was happening. My brain was kind of thinking about something else. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to reread this page to make sure I understand what's happening. And of course, one of the big kids had gone and smashed the pinata to smithereens before Bernice had even taken a swing. Everyone else had gotten yummy candy and prizes, but not Bernice. She had found one lousy gumdrop that someone had stepped on. That time my brain was really thinking about the story. So who's in this story? Bernice. And what's happening is they had broke a pinata and Bernice only got one little gumdrop. Yes, Bernice was in a bad mood. So when she saw that they were about to hand out the balloons, she didn't take any chances. I wonder what she's going to do. Who's in this story? Bernice. What's happening? She was in a bad mood, and someone is coming with balloons. Mine, she said, and grabbed the whole bunch. Who's in the story? Bernice. And what's happening? She took all the balloons. Uh-oh. But it was one balloon too many, and up, up, and away floated Bernice. Can you answer the check for understanding question? Who's in the story? If you said Bernice, you're correct. What's happening? If you said that she is floating away with the balloons, you are also correct. She floated up past a, a surly gray squirrel alongside a very blue bluebird. Who's in the story? Bernice, and what's happening? She's floating away with her balloons. And to the bottom of a brooding black rain cloud, where she got stuck. Bernice guessed she wasn't the only one having a bad day. Who's in the story? Bernice, and what's happening? She's getting stuck in a rain cloud. She peered down past her paws at the big world below and noticed how little everything looked. Suddenly, her problems seemed pretty small. Bernice glanced up 
at her enormous bunch of balloons and felt pretty small herself. So who's in the story? Bernice. And what's happening is she is floating through the air with her balloons and she's looking down and seeing all of her friends. So she gave the cloud a balloon to remind him of sunnier days. He got fluffy and stopped weeping rain. She gave the blue, blue bird a balloon to brighten her empty nest. The bird burst into beautiful song. <gasps> Who's in the story? Bernice and what's happening? She's giving away the balloons. She gave the squirrel a balloon to soften him up. He hugged it and smiled and chattered as Bernice gracefully floated back to the ground. Who's in the story? Bernice and what's happening? She's floating to the ground. And then, oh no, who's in the story? Bernice, and what's happening? This time I'm going to need to look at the pictures. What's happening is it looks like Bernice is about to give out her balloons. Everyone else began sharing too. Who's in the story? Bernice. And what's happening? Her and all of the other animals are sharing. Yes, it was a sparkly, sunshiny day. Who's in the story? All of the animals. And what's happening? They're celebrating the great sunshiny day. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to practice that strategy of check for understanding. So when you get to the end of a page, ask yourself two questions. Who's in the story and what's happening? And if you don't remember, back up and read again.